Today I'm working on this application that lets you manage books. And over here I have a book listing page. And if I click add new book, I'm brought to the form that lets us enter new information into the database. Now there's one thing that bothers me a little about this page. Uh, this header is always displaying this new book button, even if you're on the new book page. And really I only want this button to be shown when you are on the book listing page. So today we're gonna to come up with an API that lets us customize this header and change this action button depending what page you're on. Now, before we get started, I just wanna show you that this header is a header from Tailwind UI and it gets a, a little complex as we expand the page. So because this header has this complexity associated with it, I don't wanna take on the responsibility of rendering all these children. Instead, I just wanna come up with an API that lets me target this action button area. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna pop over to the code over here and I wanna take a look at this header. This is a really big file, you know, like we just showed, there's a lot of complexity associated with this header. But if we scroll up here, we can find the section where our new book button is rendered. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna cut it. And I'm just gonna leave a comment here that says action button here. So we know where to put this thing. Now let's go back to our index page. And this is where we're rendering the header. And let's uh, just paste that in. And here is where I wanna come up with an API that lets you customize that section of the header. So I don't wanna just render children. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a block and I'm gonna call this block action button. So this is gonna be our API. It's gonna render the admin header, but let us change that action button section of the header. And so in order to get this working, we're gonna come over to our header and we're gonna start adding the code to render that custom block here. So let's pop down to the very bottom of our component and we're gonna export a new component called action button. This is gonna be a really simple component. It's gonna take children and render those children. That's it. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write something that looks like a React hook that lets us extract out the customizations that callers of this header component use. So we're gonna make a new local function. We're gonna call it use named blocks. And this is gonna take children as an argument. Actually, this is gonna be a function that takes children as an argument. And we're gonna convert those children into an array. So we're gonna use react.children.toArray. We're gonna pass in those children. And then we're gonna do some higher order function magic here. We are gonna return a new function that takes a component and what this is gonna do is it is going to search all of the children. So it's gonna search that array of children for a child that matches the component that we just passed in. So we're gonna use child.type.name is equal to uh, component.name. Okay, so this looks a little confusing right now, but I think when we see it in action, it will make some more sense. So let's format this. And at the top of our header component, let's use that little function we just wrote. So we'll say let find child equals use named blocks. And we're gonna pass in the children. And now this is gonna give us a function called find child. And what this is gonna let us do is this is gonna let us extract blocks from the passed in children. So I can do something like find child action button and this will find the passed in action button. So let's scroll down to where we wanna render that new book button. And now we can just do find child action button. And now back on our index page where we are rendering that action button, all we need to do is import that from our header file. And there we go, we have a way to customize this action button on the page uh, without taking responsibility for all the children. And so when I click new book, 
I'm going to be brought to the new book page, but since the new book page isn't rendering an action button, nothing shows up here. So this is pretty cool. It's a nice little API to just name the little pieces of your complex components that you want to customize. Now, just to give you another example of how this works is if we make this header a little bigger, we're going to see that there's this profile image over here. So let's use our block components to customize that profile image. So back in the header, I'm going to just grab this image tag and instead render a fine child and we'll call this profile image. And then I am also going to need to export a profile image here. And again, this is just going to be a component that renders its children. So if we save this, the profile image disappears. And so now we can go back to the index page and we can add a profile image. And we're just going to paste in that image that we copied out. And there we go. There's our profile image. And the great thing is we can customize this any way we want. So we can put some text here and it renders correctly. So yeah, I just wanted to show this. I think this is a pretty cool API uh, when you have complex components and you just wanna target little sections of them to make small customizations.